Well, welcome to our research site near St. Denis, Saskatchewan. My name is Dan Pennock. I'm a professor in the Soil Science Department at the University of Saskatchewan. And what I'd like to talk about in our video today is some of the challenges of soil sampling when we're in the field. The site we're standing at is a, in a quarter section of land, which is typically the size of field that most people talk about in Western Canada. A quarter section of land is some 800 meters by 800 meters. And to give you an example of that, that would extend from the roadway we can see off in the distance in this direction, through this large pond, up to approximately that large bluff of trees we can see on the northern horizon. So again, an area of about 800 meters by 800 meters. Now the kind of question you might be asked to answer is, for example, how much organic carbon is stored in this quarter section? We might want to come back five or 10 years from now and assess the change in organic carbon that's occurred due to the adoption of a new management practice. Or very often, soil scientists are asked to answer the question, how much nitrogen is available for my wheat crop or for any crop from the soils in this quarter section of land? And that turns out to be quite a challenging question to answer. On my left, we have a soil pit, which is approximately one meter by one meter. If I was to use a soil pit to take samples to answer those questions, I could, uh, the quarter section of land would fit about 640,000 soil pits of that size. Or I might, for example, use some sort of coring device to take a core of this size. This core covers an area of approximately 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters, and I could take about 64 million individual cores from this quarter section of land. So the challenge for any of us working in soil sampling is how can we most efficiently sample this area of land to answer the questions that we have been asked. To do so efficiently and to provide reliable answers to those questions is the challenge that any exercise in soil sampling must address.